Independent Senator Steve Fielding says his attendance at a climate change skeptics conference in the US has given him plenty of food for thought. Senator Fielding, who could hold a critical vote on the government's emissions trading scheme, says he's concerned global warming may not be man-made. He was one of hundreds who gathered to hear an alternative view on climate change. Our Washington correspondent, Michael Rowland, reports. In this hotel ballroom in Washington, the science of global warming is under attack. I, I do know a little bit about science. I know there are protons and neutrons, electrons and morons. And, uh, uh, this conference of climate change skeptics has been organised by the conservative Heartland Institute, a group that insists global warming is not a crisis. If you open your newspaper, if you turn on the television set, chances are you're going to uh, see nothing but global warming alarmism coming at you. The skeptics argue there's absolutely nothing to be alarmed about. It's not getting any warmer. For the last six or seven years at least, it has not been getting warmer. Speaker after speaker pilloried the findings of the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the body that's produced compelling evidence of global warming and man's role in it. We see no evidence whatsoever for the IPCC claim that the warming of the last 50 years is due to human activities. On the contrary, we see evidence against man-made global warming. The skeptics say any warming has been caused by nature and they're therefore vigorously opposed to efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions. All of the activities about mitigating carbon dioxide, which is not a pollutant, are pointless, very expensive and completely ineffective. They have, will have no effect on the climate. In fact, they will even have little effect on the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere. Listening intently to all of this was family first senator Steve Fielding. He'll help decide the fate of the government's emissions trading scheme and is open to persuasion. Well, look, uh, I wanted to hear both sides of the argument. I suppose I'm in the camp of uh, what people would call uh, the realists or the sceptics and frankly I wanted to hear their views because they passionately believe that they're right and the other side's wrong. Now, tomorrow and I'll Senator Fielding the... says he's disturbed by a lot of what he's heard. We've all bought this idea that man is the problem with carbon emissions and therefore man has to change what they do with carbon emissions. That's where we're at at the moment, but there are some questions now being asked, is man the problem? And if not, then what are we doing? The senator will hear the other side of the climate change debate tomorrow during a visit to the White House. Michael Rowland, Lakeline.